Hey everybody, Tony Corbell here for TeamBowens.com. And I want to first say thanks for tuning in with us and thanks for the support. We, we're getting more and more readers all the time to our new blog uh, at Team Bowens and it's all about light. You want to learn more about light? Just keep pumping in there and keep looking at that. We're just going to keep pumping out these posts. So thanks for joining us. Um, from time to time when we get multiple questions over the same subject asked over and over, we think it's important to answer those questions through the video use of video. So that's what this is all about. We're going to do these video Q and A's from time to time on questions that come up fairly regularly. Otherwise, if any questions that you ask us on the blog site on a post, we'll respond right away, and we'll usually I'll, I'll usually respond directly uh, to your email address that you put in the, on the on the site. So keep asking those questions, and we'll keep responding to them. So today's question is uh, came from Kevin G in Kansas City. Uh, help me to understand why a light meter is so important. I mean, we can make the exposures look perfect in Lightroom, right? The answer is, yeah, you can, Kevin. Um, you know, it's a it's a personal thing, and and I know that some photographers are real, real particular about this, and and they don't want to use a light meter. They just they just go for it and look at the back of the camera, and they can fix it later and work in post, and and that's fine. We do have uh, working in a raw format for a file. We do have the opportunity to to fix things later and we can uh, bring our exposures up and down and we can fudge around up and down with our color balance and there's some things that that we can do in the post-production world what we can't do is we can't manufacture any more time folks for me the biggest thing that we have going against us in post-production is our time and and if you're uh, if you're a professional photographer doing four or five jobs a day and you're editing those pictures every night after your clients leave, you're killing yourself and you're missing an awful lot of dinners with your family. Um, you know who you are. You know who I'm talking about. If you are a, 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 a hobbyist and you are doing one or two pictures a week and you want to spend all night working on Photoshop, that's fine. Or in Lightroom, great, whatever you want to do. But I can tell you this. I know for a fact that for myself, the closer I can get to my exposures and my color balance when I pull the trigger, the happier I am. There's nothing to me more gratifying than opening Lightroom, uh, opening a new catalog, uh, importing all of my pictures from a shoot, and looking through the entire set and not having to make an adjustment. There is nothing as great as that feeling. And it happens more often when I utilize my light meter. So I use the Sekonic, uh 758 uh, dr the l758 dr it's my it's my baby that thing is right with me every day it's like i'm a contractor with my light measure uh my meet my measuring tape on my hip i keep my light meter on my hip and it stays with me all day every day and everybody that works with me knows before i pull that trigger i'm going to go check that light again uh so i'm really pretty sticky on that personally now a lot of photographers aren't and that's okay but for me, uh, to answer the question there, Kevin, that, that's a biggie for me. Is I just want to get it right, or as close to being right as I can possibly get it. And it makes me a better photographer, I think. And it does get me a little more time in the evenings. So, hope that's helpful. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we appreciate it. Obviously, everything that we're doing now, we're recording. Uh, and we are putting it here on our YouTube channel at Bowens TV. And be sure to keep looking in and checking in on us on, on our blog at TeamBowens.com. Thanks again for your support, and thanks for watching, and uh, I hope it's been helpful, and I look forward to seeing you somewhere down the road at one of the photo events. Thanks, everyone. Mm -hmm.